So in the interest of figuring out what we're dealing with, I, I've messed around with Florp on the Steam Deck a little bit. You just install the Flatpak version and you're done. But luckily, Chaotic AUR has us covered, so we can go and install Florp pretty easily from here. <clears throat> All we have to do is put in our password. It'll download the 82 megabyte sized Florp package pretty quickly on Starlink in spite of the weather and then it'll install it for us. We have most of the optional dependencies straight out of the gate. But if we look at it, this is Florp. We've seen this interface like 10 million times. If we go back to Bray or Fire Dragon, we can see that they've got the hexagonal icon Florp has the hexagonal icon, and Midori that we've looked at previously doesn't have a hexagonal icon, but has a very much the same unsplash new tab page that comes up. So we can sit here and go through multiple new tabs and get our, our favorite one if we want. So we can turn off the pocket recommendations, we can turn on the recent deck activity and let's see i need to manage more settings i want more give me two rows bookmarks most recent download eh, we'll turn the recent download off but anyway so we've got workspaces that florp has added i don't midori didn't seem to have this enabled or showing up like this but anyway so if we go back through, we can go through the standard operations of installing uBlock. So you'll notice that it does show up in Japanese. Now that's a reason why it shows up that way. So if we go ablaze support, the ablaze, the developer, developers, developer of, oh, Florp is Japanese based. So... That's kind of why we've got the whole thing going on. Um, got a Discord set up and all that. But yeah, that's why it seems to... I don't know why it defaults to Japanese here in this case. I would have to double check a couple things. Let me take two seconds. Okay, so I am in the right region according to it. It's probably something in the browser itself then. Let's see. General. Enable sleeping tabs. Oh, I never noticed that. Switch tabs by scrolling, reverse direction of scrolling tabs, wrap scrolling tabs, close tabs with a double click. Show the title of pinned tabs. Minimum width of tabs. Wedge. Why the heck are you? Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's probably because it just all the links are set to redirect to the Japanese Firefox plugin site, it looks like. So, yeah, that's probably why. But anyway, um, if I would pay attention. But yeah, we can do that. Gesturefy. I don't think I want to do that. We've got all the same stuff I think we found with Midori. Browsing, smooth scrolling, auto scroll, things like that. Do not check compati for compatibility with add-ons. See, we've got our different user agents. Spoofing Chrome. So we could spoof Chrome on Windows or Chrome on Linux. And it would work just fine. So we can go in, and then when we go to, say, a download website like Vivaldi. I think that's right. Otherwise, it's .NET. Yeah. So we can go in, or if we go to, we get the Chrome experience, and we don't get bothered about not using Chrome because it sees that we are a Google Chrome browser, as it is. Let me find a file to upload. Come on, buddy. There we go. Uh, 
Um, where was that one? No, not that one. I want a different one. Ah, here we go. Open. We can reverse Google search across the web here. And we can find our Coolio Pinky Lambo. If we can get it to crop up. Look at that. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, it doesn't pester us about not having Chrome. <clears throat> Um, that's gonna be a thing for any other like Firefox, I think. I don't I don't think Florp specifically does this. We can double check. So if we go into settings, general or is our be it does. Maybe maybe Florp did add that as a privacy feature. Because Firefox doesn't seem to have it here. No, 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 no. No sponsored shortcuts, recent activity, most recent download, two rows. Um, let's go look for user. Huh, yeah, so they don't have it in Firefox by default. That's sad. Anyway, that, that's pretty cool. Um, if we go to Fire Dragon's settings, it'll have it or should have it in here. See, right there. See, yeah. So we can change it however we feel or use a custom one if we so choose. Um, sidebar, same deal as the others. Like, it's pretty much like, you're not going to get past it. Now, we're just going to go in, do one more thing. Got to do the thing. Oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> See, we've done so well with our settings. Let's go to general again. I'm sure we can filter that setting out to do something different. So we can add to Firefox, add. We've got our tab groups enabled. We can set our browser sidebar to the where is it oh the browser manager sidebar display on the right on the left we can add the extension simple tab groups save changes we can move that up here to just above notes so now we can manage our tab groups from here or florp notes from here yeah this is, it's a pretty cool feature that florp has and the only reason I have Florp installed on the Steam Deck is because Fire Dragon isn't available in the flat pack stuff. Because otherwise I have Fire Dragon installed. And there's not a very easy way to install stuff in user space with the Arch repos, I think. I'd have to double check on that again. But yeah, Florp was kind of like the simplest click and go method to doing it. So yeah. And then we've also got the bookmarks sidebar, which we don't really need to mess with because we've got the whole sidebar right here. But anyway, and you can see that we highlight quite well. I can delete that. Um, I can, let's add, We'll create, ah, oh, dang it. Eh, no container. It doesn't need a container. It's fine. <clears throat> and now we can keep track of all our social feeds on the side here. And then 
Oh, right, I'm not logged in, that's why. And then we can add save again we've got two heads going on here so now we can keep track of everything including that video i just uploaded today right here and then it'll play right there and we can still browse over here and i'm pretty sure there's even a split view capability if i really wanted to as well i don't remember but yeah i remember seeing it here and there but anyway, that's Florp, Midori's new base, Fire Dragon's new ba base that they rebased on, and so on. So Florp has a lot of interesting features that are pretty cool. Um, but yeah. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat i've got plenty of places in the description discord gilded and what have you check those out and i'll see you guys in the next one